Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options available for the 2001 F350, F450, and F550 cabin chassis. Now when looking for hitches for this particular vehicle, these are the top three that come up. At the top here we have the Kirk Class 5, part number C15845. In the middle we have our draw tight Class 5, part number 41947. And then at the bottom we have another Kirk Class 5, part number C15445. Now while all these have their differences, they do have their advantages too, depending on what exactly you need them for. Now a couple of differences right off the bat, our top one, our Kirk Class 5, that actually has a two and a half inch opening here, while the other two have a two inch hitch opening. The one on the top is actually designed more so for your heavy duty commercial use, and we'll get into that a little bit later. Now another difference is with the Kurtz, we're gonna have these plates up at the top here, as well as our tie down loops directly underneath. Now with our Kurt at the bottom here, our safety chain loop mounting points here are pretty close to the plate here, so you may have some issue snapping those into place easily. However, the curt at the top here, you have a little bit more space to work with. Our draw tight in the center here, you have the ability to adjust this using these holes along the actual sides here, so you can either hide it up underneath your bumper or have it lower to accommodate whatever situation you may come across. Now the draw tight also has these reinforced points here inside the shank, and that's going to help prevent the rattling and wear down of the actual shank itself. Also on the side here, you'll see it has two pinholes as opposed to the one. And this also has that reinforcement around there to prevent rattle damage. Now with this other hole here, this can be used with the J-pin stabilization system, which will act as an anti-rattle bolt, which you can find on eTrailer.com. Now with these differences pointed out, they all attach relatively the same way and all have the same standard pinholes to them. Now another difference between these three are going to be the weight capacities. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. With our top class 5 Kurt hitch, the towing capacity is going to be 20,000 pounds. That's how much weight you can actually pull with this hitch. Now it has a max tongue weight of 2,700 pounds, and that's how much force you can have pushing down on the hitch itself. Now with our draw tight here, the max towing capacity is going to be 15,000 pounds, and the max tongue weight is going to be 1,600 pounds. And finally with our bottom Kurt class 5, it's going to have a towing capacity of 17,000 pounds and a max tongue weight of 2,550 pounds. Now these weight capacities are subject to change once you add weight distribution onto your vehicle. Now with our top Kirk Class 5, it's not going to change. It's still going to be 20,000 pounds and 2,700 pounds. However, with the draw tight, it's to, the tongue weight is going to remain 1,600 pounds. However, it does get a bump up with the towing capacity of 16,000 pounds. And with the Kirk Class 5 at the bottom, it's also not going to change. It's going to be 17,000 pounds for towing capacity and 2,550 pounds for max ton weight. Now in conclusion, the Kirk Class 5 we have at the top here is gonna be a little bit above the other two as far as weight capacity and towing. However, when it comes to clearance, the draw tight has a slight advantage as it can be hidden up a little further underneath the bumper and be adjusted if need be, plus it doesn't stick out as much as the Kurt's. And we hope this makes your hitch selection a little bit easier for your Ford F350, F450, or F550 cabin chassis. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.